Hello everybody, welcome to the penultimate round one match, Group B, between Arzawain and his Imperial Nobility and Viking Top and his Lizard Men. Um, looking at how these guys qualified, Arzawain qualified via the Season 3 playoffs, he's Spanish, and Viking Top is also Spanish, he qualified via the Rebel Qualifier. So, actually, Arzawin won the toss and decided to kick, which I do not agree with. He's got five... He's got the six guards, so he's got um, he's got very similar to what I like for Imperial Nobility. Not that I like Imperial Nobility, but, you know, if I was forced at gunpoint to play this team, this is what I would go with. Six guard, um, guard on the thrower, guard on the ogre, leader on the other thrower to get three rerolls, and then I would go two dodge blitzers so i wouldn't go with this tackle blitzer i'd go with two dodge players um what i'd be much more likely to go with is lizard men with six block and um viking cop has only gone for the two rerolls with the apple so that means he's got a reserve he hasn't gone with the chameleon skink and uh, you know the chameleon skink is just worse than normal skink right he's move seven instead of move eight but it does help you with a one turn helps you with a two turn and uh you know, it's like, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, the Chameleon Skink, but I think people do generally tend to take the Chameleon Skink if they go with the 12 players. So there we go. Let's, uh... Shut up, Dimmy. <laughs> Let me just say that. So it catches the, uh, ball there. Nope, instant removal. I also wouldn't kick, ever. Just quietly. Well, that's not true. I would never kick against Lizards, ever. I would kick against... Uh, I would kick against... Yeah, I don't agree with it, exposing the guard here, indeed. This is what blodgers are for, right? Lizard men don't have tackle, so just put your blodger out there to absorb the hit. Yeah, good for blitz defense. Yeah, there you go, Rainer. Look, always thinking. Always thinking is Rainer. Um. He is protecting guard a little bit this time. Ooh. Quite nice dice. Not the best, but quite nice. Doesn't blitz the ogre. But does get the knockdown on the guard. And he's just going to punch the ogre with this guy. Oh, keeps him in with a skink. A little bit of danger for that skink. Oh, because we're going to foul him. Okay, I don't, I don't like this foul at all. I hate this foul. He's, he's armor ten plus with thick skull. Like, yeah, he's annoying, right? He's strength five and he's got guard. But like, you've got strength four on everybody, so he's not that annoying. Oh, here we go. We're straight through then. Instantly through the defensive line. Um, thanks for playing imperial nobility. Oh. Dub skulls. No, I hate this. Hate this. Hate this from Viking Cop. Th this to me. I mean, he gets a he gets a removal. He gets a removal, right? I would have definitely million percent blitz this guy, and just move the whole th team through, right? The one thing that Imperial Nobility have going for them is that they have stand firm guys that get in your way right like that's the thing they, they, they can stand in the way with stand firm and they've got a strength five guy here who can do things so it's blitz this guy straight through everything's through your team's over here because you're movement eight because you're a real team and then his ogres out of the way can't do anything his stand firmers can't get in your way and you've basically just won the drive um instead like that's a fine removal but He's going to foul the ogre again. 
Oh dear. Once again, hate that foul. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't what I would do. <laughs> this is definitely a more of a Black Orc strategy than a Lizard Man one, yes. Like, Black Orcs couldn't have moved through there, right? Black Orcs couldn't have made that through. And they would have to foul here. They don't have to, they can take, I've just explained, it's, it's, it's Imperial Nobility, the one thing, that, to be fair, <laughs> what Azawain has done, has, has now just, <laughs> not even tried to stand in the way, Azawain has just voluntarily not done the one thing that knobs do, which is stand in the way, so now it's, it's absolutely, completely a million percent free up this side. So now he's got no choice but to go down this side. I don't like this guy going so far. I don't like this at all. So the, these two guys want to be back here, right? These two guys want to be back here. The important thing was they were they were they're past here. So so these two skinks should be here and here and these two these these should be saurus back here and the wizard cage yeah the, the skinks want to be up with the other skink and then the saurus want to be holding holding the line stopping the uh Honestly, Dimmy G is probably the biggest, the single biggest contributor to people playing Imperial Nobility. Which I don't know if he should be happy about that or not, really. <laughs> I'm not OP, Tim. I'm not OP at all. They're rubbish. They are absolute trash, is what they are. The worst team in the World Cup. Nah, they're probably not the world worst team in the World Cup, but they are the worst team on ladder. Oof, dub skulls. And that's an unfortunate pair of dub skulls. Now, of course, he could have made safe moves first and been able to eat that dub skull. Right? Could have moved these two saurus first, like he's got a saurus that hasn't stood up. This saurus absolutely should have moved, stood up first. He could have recovered his. Crocs, if it wasn't, you know, he could have decided whether to recover the Crocs or just hit with him. Could have definitely moved all these guys first before that blitz. It's the pal. The plim plum pal. pal. Just going to do the stand in front a little bit. But Viking Cop having spent both rerolls now is a bit uh, a bit vulnerable to bad dice. Like he's already had bad dice, right? Dub sculling twice, but he really needs to get his uh, turn ordering in order. <laughs> and, uh, yep, safe moves for nope, just punch. Just instantly punch. Punch again. Removal. Glorious. Are we just going to dodge with a ball? Wouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter. Works. I mean, he's he's on he's on zero rerolls, so you know we are past the point of taking it easy now, right? Might have to be a loss of focus and then have to refocus, 
but you should absolutely not be thinking, I don't need to try him so far ahead right now, just because of the reroll situation. Like, he obviously is far ahead on the board. Um, you know, miles ahead on the board. But the fact that you've got the... The fact that you've got the uh, zero rerolls means you've got to be, like, super careful. But, I mean, he is miles ahead. He is absolutely miles ahead in terms of the drive. Three. Three bodyguards. Killed. But only the drive, not the match, right? Not the drive. Only the match. Sorry, not... Yeah, only the drive, not the match. Oh. Oh, good to get... Right, now we'll see a good turn ordering, I'm sure. Turn seven. Probably should have the ball here, right? So it's 3-3 three, three and can't get pushed into the end zone. Or on the sideline somehow. You tempted to dodge in here as Arzawain. You can't. But you can th you can like 4-4-3 four, four, round here, right? This guy can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This isn't that hard. 4-4-3 four, four, with dodge. Right, it gets harder now. No, it does it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So, no, it doesn't matter. He just blitzes with the ogre. Punches a skink. Oh, no, one Desosaurus first. Why two dice a skink when you can one Deosaurus? And remove him? <laughs> oh, it, honestly, it probably was so we could take the boat down versus the skink, but I still think you make the 2D first and then and do the 1D second. Can three dice him here? Dude. Dude, you cannot put in two assists instead of three. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe, maybe playoffs nerves there? That was really weird, wasn't it? So, gets two out of four KOs back. Tired. Ah, uh, fair enough. I can cop. Oh, wait a minute. Was this at midnight? No, this was just now, wasn't it? This was just now. Another one was at midnight. Group stage nerves. It's it's all playoffs, though, isn't it? It's all playoffs. Like the group stage is still playoffs. Oh my god! Pro tackle. That's pretty insane. Absolute skink murderer. I don't think I would have defended the one turn versus knobs. But like, fair enough, is like an automatic thing to do. But you know, I famously didn't defend the one turn versus Cruz one turn. Dimmy will never let me forget, so. Hello Viking Cup, hello. <laughs> Does nothing. You'll do nothing. And one Garda comes back. So we're still down a Garda, Arza Wayne. And uh, the reroll looks better than the reserve now because, uh, you know, doesn't need it. <laughs> the knobs probably can't even try to win this, right? The, the pro, by the way, pro on the tackle is pretty incredible for skink hunting. The knobs are just going to have to try and grind out a 1-1 if they can. Shut up, Dibby. You thought they were you thought they were all P because they get 
five draws and a loss. <laughs> that was your definition of OP. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good turn of the Viking Cup there. And this seems the obvious blitz here to try and break through, right? Flood through a little bit. Doesn't get the pow. Diced. Like, this was safer, but... But this was way bigger payoff, like, much more likely to be able to jam through and everything if you get the power. 75%. Can three draws advance? Very difficult to, isn't it? Is it even possible to advance with three draws? Are you sure? Oh, because everybody could draw. Yeah, okay. Or, like, lots of people could draw. Yeah, yeah, all four players can have three. Oh, Apple. Wait, no, the Apple was using the first half and didn't catch it. Oh, diced. It is top two, yeah. Rerolling in the pickup. Well, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? The uh, Crocs. I mean, the Crocs was exposed there. That was a pretty rowdy cross Crocs exposure, but. Yeah. Yeah, I left the 2D on unnecessarily, yeah, right now. Like, it's somewhat harsh to say that, but also, it's true. <laughs> and like, 2Ds here, lots of 2Ds. I mean, Lizard's getting 2D this much is rare, isn't it? This is a lot of 2Ds. I think I would have gone for the same blitz, and then when it didn't work, like, you know, not got as rowdy. I, uh, you know, wouldn't have put the crocs in there and stuff, and we have just, like, stood in front of him. Like, just standing in front of people with seven, seven big guys is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, here we go, we're following him with this guy. Double rush to base the ball. Oh, and fails the re-roll. So, I, I, I don't like this play with two re-rolls, right? Um, I, I like the idea of it, you know. I like the idea of, of getting back here and then he's got to bring the thrower back and he's got to blitz you and then... But, like, he's just going to blitz you and then go somewhere. Like, you're only you're only making him blitz you. It's not worth investing any rerolls in and then it's bad to fail. So I think the play is not do that. How old Samich? Oh wow, amazing move. Amazing moves. Oh right, that that was a fail somewhere there. I must admit I stopped watching. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah, this Saurus, th th that, that Saurus move was, you know, it's hard to call anything incorrect in Blood Bowl because everything has pros and cons, etc, etc, but that to me was a mistake and Saurus exposing the crocs like that, I think. So, yeah, like, it's true, it's true, it's, it's true, like, it's just, you know, we just don't know enough, we just don't know enough, we, until we get Blood Bowl stockfish that can say with a pretty high degree of accuracy what the good moves are, we're all just pissing in the wind, really, aren't we, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's just... You know, so like, at the end of the day, you know, all the opinions about like, who's a good player as well. Like, if they align with what you think, you're more likely to call them a good player, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? So like, 
for example, Inari and probably thinks Olivia Dulac is better than I think Olivia Dulac is. And then, like, you know, um, you know, that sort of thing, like, people who play that way, like, I maybe think Artemis is a better player than Chunter thinks he is because, you know, our views on what the best way to play is don't align. And seeing as you're judging them on what you think, that's, how, that's the only way you can judge them, isn't it? You know? So... So it really is hard to just say things are incorrect because we just don't know. But <laughs> that sure looked it. <laughs> well, that's why I say it's like it's splitting hairs, right? Like it's splitting hairs to say somebody's better than somebody else. Oh, there we go. Even if most people will think Kvog is, you know better than most. Okay, so he gets his dodge dodge. A one in nine from a little bit of disaster, but not total disaster. Getting to hit skinks here. But not with block. As long as you don't get them hit with block, it's not so bad. And now he gets to smash the tackler. Really has to blitz with this this Saurus, right? Get the Saurus back. Or like, I would have dodged ball blitz with him a few turns ago, honestly. <laughs> like purple goo, right? Purple goo, yeah, brilliant. Like, I think most people would would agree that like K Fog and purple goo are pretty pretty incredible, but. They're not even that much better than the other people who, even if people agree that they're better than them, they're still not that much better. Oh my god. And there's another removal. Wait a minute, let's take stock of this. It's turn 14. If we, we've still... Viking Cop has just started removing everything again. <laughs> but he's, he's taken so much damage, is it enough? Alright, we've got a Dodger with two skinks ahead of him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these four are all pretty trapped. So he's really just kind of got a stunned guy and a potato. It's only a potato, I think. That's the only play, it's just a potato. Blitz one. And uh, in fact, just run out, right? And then Ogre Blitz this one. And he out distances the Saurus. So it's just full potato this turn. Blitzes with block on the way. I think it was probably not worth stop, you know, using that square of movement. Because he can get caught. No, he can't. He can only get touched. Okay. Well, he can't get touched, so it was okay to use that square of movement. But I kind of prefer just running up and then blitzing that. Like blitzing with the ogre and then getting three dice. I did prefer the three dice. Also, maybe should have put the tackle on the skink. <laughs> Might have been better than basing a Saurus. Oh, he's trying to base this Saurus. Okay. Okay, well, that was pretty good. So now you're just going for skink hits, right? Oh, no. Well. I mean, Dub Skull would have been a failed skink dodge. But this skink, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush. So in that case, you do a dodge instead. Can you do a dodge? No, it'd be a double dodge. No, it wouldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. So you've got to, you've got to rush with him. And then dodge with these two and two DM, right? Oh, no, you can go around this way. Do a 2D block first. Okay, that's way better. No, it's still you can't get that way. Well, you can do a dodge then. You could do a dodge then, which is better than your rush, isn't it? So this guy can do this dodge. And then one can dodge around that way. Yep. And this dodge blitzes the front. Doesn't get the power. 
Oh, I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if following is just better because then this way you can blitz and get free right. So I feel following is just better because you can blitz it, and if he gets the power, he's free. Whereas if you were there, he's got to dodge as well. He's not blitzing. He's just punching. That's a choice. That is really a choice. Something's happening over here, but it's all pretty irrelevant. Man. I guess this guy dodges. Oh, double. Yeah. So you double base this guy and then dodge Blitzer. the dodge. Ugh, dice. Dice. And now he gets to chain him off. Probably should have uh, based from the corners, right? Scores that any dice. Don't think we'll see a one turn from the lizards with uh, six players or whatever they've got. <laughs> Eight players? No, I don't think it's enough. Not versus stand firm. <laughs> Not with two stand firm and strength five. No, this looks just set up for a timeout. Yeah. Or oh, a quick snap. I wonder how realistic the quick snap was to set up for. Shut up, game. How realistic is the quick snap to set up for. You have to run all the way around and like blitz him into there, into there and up. You need so many players. Or you could skink dodge into there. God. Maybe it's not worth saying for the quick snap. I don't know. It's hard anyway, and after playing 16 turns of stressful blood ball, there's probably one guy on the planet who could even think about doing it, which is Big Kev. So, yeah, just set up for the set up for the timeout is completely reasonable. Well, it was a good game, that, wasn't it? Really good game. Um, <laughs> the massacre in the first half. Unfortunately unfortunately for Viking God, was only KOs, right? If he got these cars in the first half, the second half would have been uh, really a walk in the park. But then it was, it was a tale of two halves as his team was smashed to pieces in the second half. Couldn't really do much, but, you know, had some chances. Tale of two halves and uh, yeah, victory just eluding Viking Cop. So there you go, GG. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.